Oops. Reverse straight punch. I call this a reverse punch because I'm in an orthodox stance and my left leg is forward and my right leg is back and I'm hitting with the right hand coming straight up the pocket, right? If you notice here, I'm just popping the hand straight forward. I'm more on an offense with this punch, so I'm kind of pushing forward with this one. You can also counter with a reverse punch, which I make in a different video. So if you notice here, I'm showing you that when you punch, you can have your shoulder touch your jaw, right? That's kind of getting more extension on that punch, right? Or you can punch just straight forward. I'm also snapping the punch back. The faster I put the punch up there, it's the faster I bring it back. That's how you get the speed of the technique. The quicker you pull it out, the quicker you bring it back. Also, pulling back the technique will keep me out of danger, will keep me out of range of my opponent's attack. If he attack me, I'll be out of range and I could set up for a counter. I can follow up with the next technique by pulling back that technique quicker, right? If you notice, I'm also pushing forward with this technique. I'm reaching out towards my opponent. You want to make sure your hand reaches to your opponent first, not your chin. This is all on footwork and movement. It's a blitzing movement where you slide your body weight forward, pushing off of your back leg, right? So you're kind of pushing off the back leg and lunging forward with the punch. You're gonna to wanna to try to do this all in one motion. If you notice a slight pivot to my back leg, that is how I enable my hip to come around. That is where I get my power, my speed from. If you notice my belt is to the side, once I pivot in that back leg, my belt straightens up and my shoulders come around. Right? You want this technique to be executed all in one motion, non-telegraphing the movement. Right? So I'm basically darting in, but through the pivoting of my back leg, pushing forward, but I'm kind of going backwards at the same time, staying out of the range of my opponent if he trying to counter me. Also remember, movement is the key. The footwork is what enables me to get that punch out there. Right? So the twisting of the hips is all put together from the footwork, from the twisting of the ball of the feet, right? Everything works from your toes all the way up to your hips, right? The only thing you're doing now is just letting the hands fly. And that's all from the toes up. The pivoting of the feet enable the hips to react. Then the hands just go along with it.